this is Daisy May. Um, we have Zeus and Freya. So this is Miss Penny. All right, and this is Piper Girl, and they are sisters from different misters. This is our cat, Lulu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Harlow. <Harlo. laughs> That's Freedom. Sissy, can you look? Can you say hello? This is Sissy. Jade is a girl. She Girl. is a little old lady. This is Hoss. And then we have Abby. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is Stella. <laughs> this is Stella. All right, this is Charlie. Um, she's my doggo. She's my my baby. This is <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> my wild child. <laughs> I have my golden retriever Fisher with me. And my cat Griffin is hiding somewhere. <laughs> After trying to travel my first contract and freaking out because I was all by myself and I was really far away from family, it was the middle of COVID, um, I went back to staff and I realized that I needed a partner in crime. And it's like that hour after work where she and I just kind of decompress that I look forward to, especially when things are harder being a traveler. Whenever you're trying to find a place um, to live that accepts pets, it is a little bit more challenging. However, I feel like it's 100% worth the challenge just because puppies get the best cuddles. They really do. They are my girl, they're my my babies. You know, I don't have kids yet, so they're, they're it. And um, not having them on the road with me, I really couldn't imagine that because it's a sense of home and security, pretty much. If you're going to a new city, it's having your animals there for like just for a comfort base and, you know, and it's for them too. Like they want to, you know, they're here all, along for the ride as well. So, yeah. Um, they love new adventures, new smells, <laughs> going outside. That's right. When we actually got sick with COVID last year. My husband says it's the dogs that saved him because they actually made, we had to get up and go outside and walk them. They had to be walked, they had to be taken care of. And so it forced him to kind of move and, you know. It's nice to have a companion. Somebody with that when you come home is excited to see you. So she's just good company. And she makes me get outside. So, and take nice walks every day. So I figured we'd bring my husband and the kids. We can't leave the dogs. So they come along with us too. The whole family's together. When we came out to Salt Lake, we actually visited four or five national parks on the way out here. And I love her so much. And she's been with me through so many ups and downs um, with my life. She's a couch potato, but she also thinks she's a human and a cat. Yeah, she's been to the beach before. Um, and then we went into Mount Rushmore in October. So we did a little hiking with her. So she's she's been on the mountains. It's like a feeling of being home no matter where you are, you know. They're always happy to see me at the end of a shift and there's something to be said about coming home to your dogs and your cat that love you after a long day and you're somewhere you've never been before. So they just make it feel more at home.